morning everybody, Pope Binary here, and today I've got a whole bunch of live price action trading for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get the logistics out of the way here. I'm trading using Nadex, I'm trading using the 5 minute time frame, and all these trades are 5 minute expirations. Okay, this is an unusual quote unquote uh, way of trading, right? I trade on the same time frame that I'm looking at, right? So I trade basically placing my call or my put on the very next candle with the expiration also occurring on the same candle, if that makes sense. You guys will see when I'm taking the trades, but uh, hopefully that makes sense. But regardless, I've got a whole bunch of examples for you. Um, sorry about any awkward cutting. I had to cut down this video a lot because I went on a couple rants. Uh, but regardless, I hope you guys learned a whole, get to learn a whole lot. And I uh, Please like and subscribe. So before we jump in, here's the quote of the day. The more the market is the product of non-speculative activity, the greater the significance of technical breakouts. That's from Bruce Kovner. So without further ado, here are live examples. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I probably shouldn't put this as the first example because this is not, you know, a basic pattern. This is price action trading. This is a little advanced, you know, but since, you know, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're here to learn. So I'm just going to walk you through why I took this trade. So for one, we have a nice bull market, right? I'm going to try and leave politics out of it. Uh, but basically, Trump is doing a lot of things that are causing the 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 perception of the U.S. dollar to decrease, right? The value of the U.S. dollar has been decreasing over the past few days. And so we're in a nice bull market. And, you know, we hit a really strong resistance point and we're falling away, right? And I can tell you it's a strong resistance point because I can see the skid marks. We can see, you know, rising, 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 then crashing, right? This is a strong, strong pivot point, right? And so, you know, the market, you know, we fell away a little bit. We come back up and we've been, you know, indecisive at this value for a long time. Now, there are several things that keyed me in that this market, you know, was ready to go. It's ready to fall or at least stay below my strike price in the next five minutes. I'm going to walk you through it. So let me zoom in. Like I said, this is an advanced example, right? Okay, we get a hammer. That is generally a reversal signal. But then we get, you know, a nice, a nice, you know, doji candle. We get a nice sort of pin candle. I still would not take this trade, right? If I saw this pin candle, because that's not a true pin candle for me. If you haven't seen my uh, video on pin candles, feel free to go check it out. But this is not a true pin candle. Then we get what I consider, you know, this looks like a true pin candle, but it's at the wrong point in the market. So I'm still not entering the trade. Because basically all this, all a pin candle is, the market is breaking above the resistance line, getting rejected. Breaking above, getting rejected. Nice doji candle, we're in a trend. There the market, the market is finally falling, like I said it would. Um, but regardless, uh, sorry I got carried away there, I get distracted. But, you know, we break above, we get rejected again. The market has been rejected over and over, and then for the first time in a long time, the market did not come back up to the resistance line. We get a nice doji candle. I believe, you know, the technical traders, they call this an inside candle, right? This is all the professional traders scooping up as many shares, trying to keep the market at this value before we get a nice move down. So to sum it up, why this trade was taken was... We, we see there's indecision at this major resistance point. We get one break above, one rejection, two breaks above, a rejection, three breaks above, a rejection, and then out of nowhere, this candle doesn't even contest this resistance line anymore. This is an inside candle, so I said, you know what? I think the market's ready to go, and we get this nice bearish move. That's a nice five-minute expiration win. I hope you guys were able to follow along. All right, guys, for the second example, this is yet another, you know, not so basic pattern. This is price action trading. I wish I could show you an easy pattern here, but there's not really. This just goes to prove why you need to understand the reasoning behind why price action trading works. Okay, so I am in a call position at the 3-0 strike price, which is right here. I only got this contract for $20, which means I'm risking $80 to make $20 inverse four to one risk reward. Um, but the reason I put it down here, uh, the call down here instead of up here is because this, you know, this strike price is now below the moving average. So the only way I lose is if A, I'm wrong on my prediction, which is the market is going to rise and B, if the market 
breaks below the moving average in the next five minutes, which is highly unlikely uh, given the current circumstances. Um, but uh, this is, you know, as we can see, the market is continuing to rise. Um, let, and let me just go ahead and explain why this is happening. We're bullish, 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 bullish. We have a nice, nice resistance slash support line here. You know, we get one bounce here, two bounce here, three bounce here, four bounce here. Then we get a fake out, right? The market tries to break below. We come back up. Uh, we get another f fake out, which where, where the market comes back below. We get a strong bullish candle. That lets me know an uptrend is about to start. However, I would not enter a trade after this bullish candle. I'd just be on the alerts that an uptrend is about to start. And as we can see, it's starting to form. So we get a new high. We get a pullback. This is a pullback trade. This is not the cleanest of pullbacks, but it's still a trade. Uh, I see the market, you know, we get a bounce off the moving average, another bounce off the moving average at this candle. The market, you know, we, we're getting like a flag flag type movement here which is what these this these two candles say and then we get a nice bullish bounce off the moving average then we get an inverted pin candle you know that bounces off the moving average again and then I'm like all right the pullback has ended it's time for this uptrend to continue okay hope you guys were able to follow along with that um, I'm just gonna run it through one more time this big uh, green candle let me know that the market you know, a potential uptrend was about to start. We get a nice, uh, a new high, right? So then I'm like, okay, okay, I think the uptrend's starting. This is a pullback. We get one bounce off the moving average. The bears tried to step in, push it back down to the moving average, got rejected. Um, and then I was like, okay, the market's ready to rise again. Okay, so this is a pullback trade on the five minute. The period just closed. I just won $20. hope you guys are able to follow along on to the next. I was wrong about this uptrend, right? I'm going to admit a mistake here. Um, we get a nice pin candle bounce off of, you know, this the, the same exact value. So what I just did is I entered a strike price at the 7-0 value, which is this horizontal line. I got this contract for, I think I got it filled for $25, saying the market is going to fall in the next five minutes. Right. I've already given my, uh, in, you know, in this past example, you know, I can tell you that I thought an uptrend was starting. I'm wrong. Right. At any given moment, you have to change your idea of the market. Right. If I was right, the market would have broken to a new high and we would have gotten another pullback. I'm wrong, guys. There's not an uptrend forming right here. Instead, we're getting not necessarily a double top because this isn't a true double top in my opinion, but we're getting a nice rejection off of the value because I hope you guys can see I'm going to put in a horizontal line to make it more uh, clear to you guys. The market, you know, we came up here, bounced off the market, you know, we come back up here and bounced off. And what this is the equivalent of is a green candle forming with a bearish engulfing candle. That's all a pin candle is. If you combine the two, you get a pin candle. So the market, you know, we get a nice pin candle at that value, which lets me know, okay, I was wrong. This is not an uptrend. You know, there's more sellers in this market than I thought. You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have a bias right now because the market has been rising, you know, like a rocket the past few days. So I'm very bullish bias towards the market right now. And that's a mistake. And that's something I need to address because as we can see right now, you know, that's why I trade five minutes because even though I was right for the course of the next, you know, five or 10 minutes, I was wrong in the long run because I, I genuinely think, you know, uh, we're, we're about to come back down to this resistance line at this point, right? So uh, I'm I'm in a call position. I'm gonna cut now because we're we're about three minutes out from the 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 end of the period, and I'm gonna show you guys how this turns out. Okay, guys, we're about 30 seconds past the close of the period, and uh, this is actually quite a nice move. This is a really nice move, um, which just goes to show, you know, <laughs> this is why I trade five minute options is because you know you can catch quick moves like this so long as you understand the price action. You know, and in this example, you know, it, it provides a real nice uh, lesson that, you know, I had to, it took me so many losses to drill this into my brain, right? You have to be able to change your perspective on the market at any given moment. I was bullishly biased, right? You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest. I thought this uptrend was going to at least go back up to this, uh, this resistance line where the market pivoted off of. I was wrong. As soon as I saw this pin candle form, I was like, I'm wrong. I'm instead of, you know, 
looking to place calls now, I'm going to go ahead and place, or rather instead of looking to place bids and buys, I'm looking to place calls now, right? And this just, you know, it, it goes to show it really pays off to, to have that flexibility to just change your mind at any given moment. Hey guys, this isn't a trade, but this is another lesson I want to teach you guys. You know, I get this question all the time, especially, you know, because I'm, I'm applying for internships now. And, you know, this is, you know, I can see through the trap of what these, you know, all these, these guys at these big investment banks, they ask me, am I a pattern trader? And I'm going to tell you right now, I am not a pattern trader, okay? I am a price action trader, and there's a crucial difference. And so this is a quick lesson I want to capture for you guys. What do you see right now? I see a pin candle. You know, that is a textbook pin candle for me. To me, if I saw that pin candle form under the right circumstances, and that's the key phrase there, under the right circumstances, I would take a trade 100% of the time. Now, under these circumstances, this pin candle is nothing. That just shows indecision at a major resistance point. You know, and if I put in another horizontal line here, we can see that the range that the current market is respecting is about right here. It's like this zone. Let me see if I can get a better, you know, illustrative example. I'm going to get a box here. It's about that size. Um, and if my computer will load, I'm going to go ahead and drag this up for you guys. This is the zone, right? The pin candle, all this says is the market is broken back into a, a, a current range of the market. I have no idea where the market's going to go right now, right? I, it could go up, it could go down, I have no idea, right? So uh, one thing I just want to let you guys know is pattern trading is how you ruin your account. Just because you see a pin candle, don't take every trade, right? Just because you see an engulfing candle, don't take every trade. This is a huge engulfing candle. Was there a big move after? No. And it's because we're at you know a crucial point in the market, and you have to take into consideration where the market is. All right, guys. So for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through you know what I look for when I look for a trade, right? So I'm gonna tell you right now there are three things I look for when I'm doing price action trading. I look for reactions off the moving average. I look for reactions off trend lines, and then I look for reactions off of support and resistance. Now, out of those three, support and resistance are the best way to trade, in my opinion. They, and you know, I don't know what it is, but they provide the strongest reactions. You know, um, like I said, I really can't explain it, but support and resistance trading is my favorite go-to. Now, the secondaries are moving average reactions and then uh, trend line reactions, right? Um, in no specific order there, I find they're about as reliable, you know, the moving averages and the trend line reactions are about as reliable as each other. So whenever I look for a trade, what I look for is something like this, right? So I can see we're in a very strong bear market, we're getting an extended pullback, and now, you know, we're, we're, we're retesting this trend line. And all this trend line is, is I dragged it from this high to where the market bounced off, and I created a parallel line to see if there's a fit. And there is a fit on this lower on this uh, this lower trend range, right? Which just lets me know, you know, that we're actually in a trending channel right now. The thing I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a nice engulfing candle to break back inside of, right, inside of these trend lines. Right now, I would not take this trade, okay? Because see how it's stopping at the moving average right now? Um, it's hard to, you know, drag this mouse right now because my, my computer gets laggy when I record. But can you guys see how, you know, we, we, I'm looking at this chart very closely right now because we broke outside the trend range, right? And now we're stopping at the moving average. In order for me to take a call, I'm going to need to see the market close below this moving average. All right, everybody. So this is the type reaction I'm looking for. Okay, so I just jumped about three minutes past when I was last recording. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause the video, get a strike price at this 5-0 value, and I'll catch y'all guys in a second, and I'm going to say the market's going to fall. Okay, guys, we're about 30 seconds past the close of the period. Hey guys, this is not going to be a live example, but this is another another practical lesson I want you guys to understand. My roommate, you know, he has a migraine right now, so he uh, he went to bed really early last night, so I couldn't record this. But this is something really, really neat I thought I'd share with you guys. So as you can see here, these are just two 
uh, screenshots overlaid on top of each other. Right here, we've got the U.S. Japan chart, and then you know, up here in the top, or rather, up here in the top left, you can see this was the Australian chart. And I really, really like this lesson because it teaches you these patterns repeat themselves over and over and over and over again. And this one just goes out to everybody, you know, all the haters who say the market is totally unpredictable and you can't make money off of it and it's gambling. Well, this picture right here just goes to show you that's not true. Notice how this is the exact same pattern. Market comes down, down to a nice support zone. We get an initial bounce. We come back down. We get an inverted pin followed by a bearish candle pushing back down to the support, engulfing candle, and then the market takes off, right? The exact same thing happened on two different charts 10 hours removed, right? This isn't like, you know, this recurred within 10 minutes of each other, so it's just the circumstances. No, this happened 10 hours apart on two different charts. So study up on your basic price action patterns and make sure you learn these patterns because they repeat themselves every single day. You know, there's a great quote out there where it's like, I can make money trading boring patterns that happen every day because they happen every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So just study up, guys, and just learn these patterns. And before you know it, you'll be able to spot them just like that, right? All right, guys, we got one of my favorite, favorite patterns here. Um, I just entered the trade. So this is what I like to call a double top. And the best type of double tops are when you get strong, strong reactions like this. All right, so if you guys can't see it, right, let me just go ahead and put a horizontal line in for you guys. Market, you know, bullish market, we come up, hit this value, bounce off, we come up, hit this value. We even break above the value, and we're getting a huge bearish reaction right now. So what I did is I just entered a strike up here at the 495, and I got it for $20 on a call, which means I'm risking 80 to make 20 um, which is a really nice trade. Um, and so something I want to point out to you guys is don't freak out, you know, as this candle is forming, you know, I'm in a call, but I know the reason the market, you know, we're getting this nice bullish response is because we just broke through the EMA. Uh, and so we're getting a, or rather we just broke through a moving average. And so the market, you know, was just bouncing off and we're getting in some bulls, you know, I like to consider those the dumb bulls of the market, if that makes sense. Those are people, you know, those are what I like to call pattern traders, right? Back to that lesson I had a few seconds ago. You know, some people out there, as soon as they see the market hit the moving average in a bull market, they're like, buy, 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 right? And then all the professional traders know, you know what? No, I think this is, you know, a double top, and we're about to come back down and retest this lower, uh, this lower range boundary, which is this other red line right here, right? So... That's why we're getting a bullish response right now. Remember, no trade is perfect. I'd like to see this candle finish red and red only, but I know there's going to be a couple hiccups along the way. But as long as it stays below this horizontal line, which is my strike price, I will make money, and that'll be a happy trade for me. So uh, we're about 45 seconds away from the close of the period. I'm just going to go ahead and cut real, here, real quick right here. All right, guys, period just closed. Just got my money. Like I said, nice, clean, double top trade. Nothing special about it. Um, I'll take it any day. All right, so on to the next one. Hey, guys, I'm just finishing up editing here. We're already at 18 minutes on this video, so I think this, you know, this is where I'm going to call it quits. You know, the, I think I believe I got seven examples for you guys. Um, that's good enough, I think, for now. Uh, if you'd like to see any videos like this in the future, or even, you know, different videos, if you have suggestions for different videos I can make for you guys, let me know and drop it in the comment section and I'll make sure to write that down. You know, I've got a list on my notes here, uh, you know, where I've got a list of about six or seven video ideas that I'm going to come out with in the future. But if you have any recommendations, make sure to let them know. But if not, please like and subscribe if you found anything in this video helpful. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Pope Binary out.